Let's check in with Natasha Brown live in Fairmount. Also pretty toasty. Hey, Natasha. Yes, it is quite toasty. I can attest to that. It's actually stifling heat, I can tell you. As soon as you walk out, the humidity just kind of hits you in the face. And you can see where some of the little ones are gravitating right here behind me at the spray ground here at Clemente Park in Fairmount. So folks, young and old, are really just trying to find ways today to beat the heat. Philadelphia is in the midst of its first heat wave of the season. Many folks are braving the heat, whether it's just to grab a bite to eat or those working in the extremely hot weather. Protecting yourself is key on these scorching days. Right now, we are under what's called a heat caution. The Philadelphia Corporation for Aging hasn't activated its heat line just yet, but its hotline is open to give advice on how to stay cool. Some of those tips are to drink plenty of water, even if you're not feeling thirsty. Uh, to wear light colored, lightweight, loose clothing. Uh, we suggest when going outside in the sun to wear a hat or use an umbrella. The elderly are particularly vulnerable in these types of conditions, some likely still isolated because of the pandemic. We encourage everyone to please uh, check on your neighbors, check on your family, especially if you know um, they're older, um, if they live alone. <laughs> Kids like four year old Piper are finding relief from the heat here at Clemente Park, one of the city's many spray grounds. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold? Does it feel good though? Yeah. Just to keep her cool, um, just because of the heat and, you know, just for health reasons. And it's also fun for her too. We have over 90 spray grounds throughout the department in our playgrounds and recreation facilities. They opened last weekend, Memorial Day weekend. They will remain open through Labor Day. Everyone finding ways to beat the heat. Well, back out here live at Clemente Park, you can see little Piper. She's over there in the distance here. She just can't seem to get enough of the spray ground. She's still here, you know, just hanging out, playing like many of the other kids are doing right now. Just finding, again, that outlet that's necessary on a hot day like today. And, of course, the Parks and Recreation Department tells us that the next thing they're going to be doing is obviously opening up the pools throughout the city, but they have to have enough lifeguards to do that. So they're still looking for takers out there, looking for folks who might want to be a lifeguard to help them out. That's the very latest here in Fairmount. Natasha Brown, CBS. Three, I would assume. All right, Natasha, thanks. You may need to do a quick run through, a little loop, loop through the splash, <laughs> so. through the splash zone. Thank you. <laughs> People <laughs> looking to be.